What's up, everybody, and welcome to the week four edition of The Chopping Block. I'm your host, Head Chopper, here at Roto Grinders. And uh, what we do here is take a lineup that's been submitted by users on Twitter and uh, just kind of touch it up a little bit. This is all in fun, and it's all in uh, of my opinion. And if you can take extract any type of information going forward from it, then... That's what this is all about. This is about a process of learning. Uh, we Everybody helps each other learn. So hopefully you can pick something up on this. And maybe I'll pick some, something up from the lineups that uh, are submitted. But this is DraftKings. This is a cash lineup. It was submitted by John Erickson 107 on Twitter. And uh, let's get right to it. This is going to be short and sweet because I like this lineup for cash. There's a lot of good aspects about this. Uh, the initial lineup, uh, two solid running backs some value at receiver, the best receiver in the game of fantasy football. Just a lot of good things to like about this cash lineup. I'm gonna tweak it ever so slightly and in two different places. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take out the Texans defense. Uh, this is a cash lineup. They're a lot better and more attractive of a defense before we heard JJ Watt was gonna be out. I don't know how they're gonna handle that. They may very well go out and Oh, they could score a couple touchdowns. They're that kind of a defense, but they could also go out and get hammered this week. They're just, we don't know how they're going to be affected by arguably the best defensive player in football not being there anymore. I'll take them out. Uh, not only do I not trust them now, but I kind of need a little bit of money here, just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the Jets lineup here. The Jets are at home against Seattle. Uh, you know, Seattle's got to travel. They've got a banged up quarterback short at running back uh, so maybe just maybe the Jets can pull one off here and rack up some points uh, I don't mind them I think this is a good price for a defense I don't necessarily like in cash games to spend up four grand or more for a team like uh, whoever's the top of the chart this week maybe it's Arizona some weeks it's Seattle whoever it is it's a lot of money to spend so I want to save a few hundred here grab the Jets over the Texans and I'm going to use that money at quarterback. I'm going to get rid of Trevor Simeon. Uh, Denver traveling to Tampa Bay. It's not a terrible matchup for him. And he proved last week he can be an adequate NFL quarterback. I'm not sold on him just yet. I don't want him in my cash games this week. So I'm going to pull him out. Uh, this is just a personal thing here. You know, if, uh, if you like him, roll with him. If you think that's what you're going to get out of him again, another big game, go for it. But I personally don't think that's going to happen think that was a fluke I want him out of there because the guy I want to put in is Brock Osweiler I think this matches the lineup well there's a lot of things going on here number one Tennessee has become a defense that's very difficult to run against but you can pass against them Osweiler is cheap I like cheap quarterbacks he has a lot of weapons he has Hopkins on one side Fuller on the other even Lamar Miller coming out of the backfield, he can attack you from all different ways. You don't need that many points to pay off the salary. Uh, and not only that, but now we pair Oswalder with Lamar Miller in a cash game. I like that. I'm not sure the upside is there for GPPs, but for cash games, what it does, we have Texas, uh, Houston, the Houston Texans at home against Tennessee. Basically, whatever touchdowns they score on offense, you are assured of getting a piece of it. If they run it in, it's probably going to be Lamar Miller. You're getting that. If they pass it in, it's going to be Osweiler. You're getting that. This makes for a really lethal combination in cash games. Uh, for a game where Houston could and should score several touchdowns. I think it's a good spot here. That's what I got for you this week. That's a cash game. In cash games, I don't mind pairing my quarterback with running backs. Uh... You really get a lot of, if you're really confident in one offense, go for it. I am this week in Houston, so that'll do it. Next week, I'll be back with the DraftKings. We'll do a GPP lineup. Don't forget, submit them uh, lineups to Twitter here in the middle of the week, and I'll check them out, and I'll pick one, and you get RG swag if you get chosen. So until then, I'll be back to see you guys next week. Good luck this week.